A full-scale Russian invasion of Ukraine could escalate into World War III depending on how Ukraine's global allies react to North Korea sending its troops to help Russia, the Telegraph writes. The media outlet recalled that the North Korea may preliminarily send about 11,000 troops to help the occupiers. According to the journalist, this is the last and most frightening reminder that the war is not only between Russia and Ukraine. So other countries on both sides of the war may soon follow North Korea's example, including Britain and France, which have previously raised the possibility. This is now a global war, potentially a world war. It is clear that Russia's leaders and their allies in Iran, North Korea and, to a lesser extent, China understand the stakes. Less clear is that Ukraine's NATO allies do, the article says. In addition, it is noted that South Korea may also be drawn into the war due to the growing role of the North Korea in the alliance with Russia. But Russia's foreign ministry has threatened South Korea with security consequences if it helps Ukraine in its war against Russia. We believe that the South Korean authorities should not be playing along with the Kiev regime, Foreign Ministry spokesperson Maria Zakharova said. Zakharova warned the Republic of Korea of the consequences for South Korea's security that could result from the Republic of Korea's involvement in the Ukrainian conflict, if such decisions are made. The Russian Federation will indeed react harshly to any steps that may pose a threat to the security of the country, its citizens, wherever its citizens are. These measures can be quite tangible, she added. Previously, South Korea provided humanitarian aid and artillery shells to Ukraine, but this may soon change. At an emergency meeting of the National Security Council, senior officials of the Republic of Korea promised to increase their own participation in the war in Ukraine, in response to the actions of the North Korea. It is known that South Korea continues to be one of the leaders in the production and export of weapons, this applies to both tanks and artillery. However, the article says that Ukraine should not build its strategy around the fact that South Korea is more concerned about the consequences of an increasingly global war than NATO countries. Clouds of smoke were seen rising into the sky over southern Lebanon on Thursday. It comes a day after Israeli jets struck multiple buildings in Lebanon's southern coastal city of Tyre, sending up large clouds of black smoke, while Hezbollah confirmed that a top official widely expected to be the militant group's next leader had been killed in an Israeli strike. Israel in the past month has launched a major aerial bombardment and ground invasion of Lebanon as it targets Hezbollah, with strikes hitting the capital, Beirut, and elsewhere. In the wake of its ally Hamas' October 7 attack on Israel and Israel's ensuing offensive in Gaza, Hezbollah began firing rockets, drones and missiles at Israel, and they have exchanged fire regularly since. But recent weeks have seen a significant escalation. Israel has since launched a ground invasion in Lebanon that it says aims to push Hezbollah militants back from the border. Hezbollah has fired thousands of rockets, missiles and drones into Israel over the past year, including some that have reached the country's populous center. Israel said it invaded Lebanon to try to stop near-daily rocket attacks from Hezbollah.